the season and the reason for our existence is to worship him. We can pray, we can fast. That is not our reason. For we are alive to give him adoration. To give him honor with every of our being. Because without him, we are nothing. There's total emptiness. Total weakness. Without Jesus. By the grace of God, God will take you to a realm that you want for nothing but to be in his presence. When you get to that realm, testimonies, healing, deliverances, count for nothing. It will just look like trifle. Byproduct of his presence. When you eat, you must go to the toilet. When you are in his presence, you must have his wonder. When you drink water, you must ease yourself. The same thing when you are in his presence. All good things of life. Will just be attracted to you. Naturally. So my prayer for you is that you be in his presence. His presence is everything. And the Bible says it dwells in the praises of his people. That is, is alive when you worship him. Today I'll be talking to us for a few minutes on God is God to all but Father to some. God is deity to all whether human whether believer whether unbeliever whether wicked whether good whether Christian religious or pagan God is God to all he sits and rules in the affairs of human beings whether they allow him or they don't he is in control if you look at the book of Daniel Daniel was under the rule under the jurisdiction of a king that was chosen by pagan gods the Bible says Babylon had besieged Israel and taking Israel as captive. But they took even the God of Israel and they put him in the God of their, their But yet when Nebuchadnezzar came out and he touched his chest and he said, I am the one that did everything. The Bible says a voice came from heaven and said to him, I made you king. He did not know Yahweh. He did not know Jehovah Shalom. He didn't know who God is. But yet God said, I was the one that was behind your lifting. That was before God turned him to an animal. Because God is God to all. But yet, he is father to a few. The scripture says, 
I make rain to fall on the just and the wicked alike. People travel every day. People walk to their office every day and yet no accidents. Armed robbers can be going to rob and they are coming back and they did not die on the way. Kidnappers can stay at the center of the road and begin to look for who to carry and yet the ground did not open to swallow them. They can be shooting with police and they will be escaping death because God is God to all. The wicked, the good, God, whether they accept it or not, is their God. God is our God. But is not father to Two nations were in the womb of a woman. This woman was pregnant. And she saw a storm in her womb. And she went before a man of God to inquire of the Lord what is going on inside my stomach. And the prophet said to him, He said, there are two nations in the womb. But there is one that I chose. And there is one I rejected. Meaning, I am God to both, but I am father to Jacob. I am the one that will make them great. But yet, I have chosen the supplanter. Listen to me and listen to me well. God can rule over your life because he just feel like. And God can rule over your life because he has to. He makes it a paramount. He makes it important to him that your life becomes his part. The Bible says you, your child cannot ask you for bread. And you will give him a stone. Neither will he ask you for fish. And you will take a scorpion to him. How much more your father? Who is in heaven? Won't he give you all good gifts? That word is not for all, it's for some. It's for people that are under the fatherhood. Not under the godhood. Bible says all things work together for good to those that love God and are called according to his purpose to his children. <laughs> if one understands the depth of this word, one will be careful with God. Because good things can be happening to you, it doesn't make you his child. As wicked as Boko Haram is, killing, decapitating, and committing atrocities. If they take a corn of maize and they put it in the ground and they wet it, they will have maize three months time. Because there's a principle that guides sowing and reaping. Whether they have God, if you are succeeding and everything is working fine for you, because you are giving hard working, you are hard working. And you are, you are doing everything and everything is coming out that way. It does not mean God is your father. It doesn't mean. 
You can be going out every day and coming back home unscathed, unscratched, untouched, and yet God is just God to you because you did not speed. You did not speed in driving. You didn't have an accident. Normal principle. You didn't walk in the middle of the night. Nobody robbed you. Normal principle. But when God leaves Godhood with you and becomes a father, you will do things that are opposite by mistake and he will still protect you. When the things look as if naturally, failure should be the cause. That should be the, re the, the result. The protecting hand of God. Because he is your father. He must protect you. This was an example of what Israel was enjoying. The Bible says in the book of Judges. For their heart was torn from the master. But still, after he give them some punishment, you remember again that ah, these are my children. Yoruba will say, a child cannot be wicked, wicked. That you will wicked him to the zoo. And you will throw him for the animotekun. You won't show him like that. What you will do is to lie, beat his bum bum. But yet you will not forget him. The Bible says, can a mother forget the suckling of a child? Never. How much more God? When your relationship with God becomes father to child, things might happen. But it's either for correction, for redirection, for wait, allowing you to wait for a while, or for preservation. Because his love is a banner covering your destiny. There are five things that you need to do to move from the realm of. Godly, God, God, God to man, God to man, God to man. To father to child. And I'm going to be mentioning those five things. Are you with me? Is somebody with me. I want you to be here today. Listen to me and listen to me well. I said before. If these wicked people can so and three months later the normal process of gestation period of a corn seed in the floor they get their hubs and they are able to eat it God to man God of all but when God is your father you might not have to sow the seed but the corn will be made manifest because it is father to child and not God to all number one thing is you must accept his son you must accept what his son that is you must be born you must say the sinner's prayer and accept him because the Bible says the soul that sinneth shall die. And he's not talking about earthly death. He's talking about a spiritual disconnection between him and yourself. He said, if you say you have not sinned, you are a liar and the truth is absent from your spirit. You must first accept him. Number two, you must turn away from wicked ways. 
Israelites understood that they are away and they cried back to God. God was always there as a father. I'm going to use the analogy right now of the prodigal son. A man had two children. And he was very wealthy. The younger one decided in his heart. He said, I don't want you to die first. Share everything you have in the truth. Give me my own. I want freedom. So the father looked at him. He said, where? You are over 18. Before you kill me in my sleep. Let me give you half of everything. And the Bible says he gave him half of what? And as he took the half. The Bible says he went into the world. He got to spend and spend and spend. And spend. He had forgotten that money that is not invested so the money finished. And one day he got into the realm that he started eating with pigs. And he remembered that ah, even the slave in my father's house at this time based on the menu of food for slaves they are eating rice and beans. Me, I am eating big food. I will go to my father and I will tell him I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Just make me your slave. The Bible says as he was going, the father saw him from a distance and ran to him. Repentance brings fatherhood. Are you listening to me? The moment there is repentance and there is a step towards changing from your bad ways, there is an attraction of the father to you as a child. Number three, in order to have a father and son or father and daughter relationship with God, you must trust him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, let him know. I do not even use acknowledge. I use what? Let him know. How many times do you wake up in the morning and you tell God, I'm going to work? How many times do you wake up in the morning and tell God, I am going downstairs? A man that is a child of God, every time. He want to carry God along. Every time. In all your ways. The more you trust and acknowledge his presence. In everything you do. Some of us will leave him, leave him, leave him until we want to have children. We leave him, leave him, leave him until we want to marry. We leave him, leave him, leave him until we are until we are hungry and there is failure and there is anything. We now come to God in the church and say, God, you know, I'm your child. You know, you are not a child of God. You are a, you are a, you are a human being and God is your God. Natural. As a woman that is here, I'm going to use a natural as an example. You are a married woman. And your husband ignores you all the way. And when it's time that he wants to go to Jerusalem, he what will you answer? No, because he decided not to acknowledge you. 
Jesus. Jesus. The Holy Spirit. Yahweh. Jehovah. They want you to be telling them every step. Because you don't acknowledge somebody you cannot trust. I'm not talking of kneeling down and saying in the name of Jesus. No. I'm talking of a consistent relationship with him. Daddy, I want to get downstairs. You are not telling him because you want him to say yes or no. You are just telling him because you want him to know that you know that he's there with you. Number four. After trusting and acknowledging. You must learn. To continually communicate. Someone say communicate. A father and a child. They normally talk. I'm not talking of Nigerian father. You know now our fathers in Nigeria. When we hear God is a father, we are afraid because we are comparing him to our earthly father. Uh, no, that's not your father. God is a good father. So there will be a communication. He has given you somebody in your spirit. The Holy Spirit. Consistent communication. I've heard people say, Prophet, how do I hear God? I will smile. I say, when you were going to still meet in the port. When your mommy was not looking at you. The person that told you in your heart don't go and stick me. He was talking, it's God that was talking to you since you were God speaks with the voice of your conscience. Many of you don't know. The littlest thing, I want to go and drink. I want to go and take drugs. And that thing that says, hey, don't take drugs. Don't I'm going to. Leave me alone, Joe. It's not my life. You are quieting God. You now expect God to tell you that this is your wife. This is the business. When he has been telling you small, small things. And you Communication is not talking. It's one person must talk. Another person must receive. Another person must receive. Another person must talk. Somebody called you on the phone. Hello? How are you? Before you say fine. Bye bye. If you want that. You know that's how many of us are with God. You have your prayer booklet. You read it. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. You are good. You are lovely. Thank you. Thank you. My children must go to school. school fees. My wife is not feeling fine. Healer. In Jesus' name. Amen. All the angels in heaven will be waiting that. We want to tell you something. And yet, you are not there to listen. Sometimes the answer of your prayer will come into your spirit. Because a father and a child must communicate. But if there is no communication, to make God your father, you must learn to both speak and listen. Waiting on the Lord. 
How do you wait upon the Lord? A time of quietness of heart. You are quiet in your heart. You are lying down. Your Bible is beside you. And you are waiting. Your heart is on him. Your heart is on him. Jesus, I love you. I thank you. Your, your heart is talking to him. Mm, 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 mm. You are building a friendship that will make you to be able to pray Psalm 91 prayer. He dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Shall abide on Not everybody can pray that prayer. Because you are not in the secret place. You are in a far place. That's why some of us, when we read us, all those psalms we know how to read in night. In the middle of the night, your family demon will wake you up. That Bible you use, they use it to beat you. That Bible, they will hold it like they will knock your head. Why? Because reading of God's word without relationship with God is empty. This takes me to two valuable reasons why you need God to be your father, not just God. Number one, divine protection. The reason why you need to be a friend of God and you need to be a child of God in this age is because you need divine protection. There's an arrow that fly by day. There's a pestilence by night. That if you are not in a secret place, and it's just God to you, there are some times you will be on the Okada. But because and the Okada man is driving like someone on drugs, but because you are a child, as he's doing, because you don't, you don't, you don't do drug tests for the Okada man. You will say, Alpha, the, maybe the I, want, I remember one day I was coming from Lagos so I took a bus and the person that, I didn't know the man that the man that was driving the bus was not normal it was not normal at all you know you know when how many of you have taken bus to Lagos they will write a name and number as I'm saying it, I have to say it again because it's still funny. He wrote all the names we wrote in the bus. He now brought, as he was driving Lagos, he bought the way. He now brought it out and was reading the name. So as he was driving, he was driving with one as he was reading the picture. So the other people in the bus, they were now shouting at him. That was wrong with you. Why don't you face it? He carried the paper, he threw it outside the window. That's when we knew that. Ah. Everybody knew that this is a man. I just said, At that point in time, based on normal law, normal law of life. Careless driver must have what? Accidents. It is a must. It's careless. He must have accident. But what made him not to have accident? It's because some of us were children of God. When the norm is broken, when the law is destroyed, what keeps you protected is your sonship and your relationship with Yahweh. 
The truth is this. The Bible says in the congregation of the righteous, there shall be what? Shout of joy. I'm not saying this against anybody that had their children of God that, that God allowed this kind of thing to happen to them. But there's a way. He said temptation will arise. Evil will come. But I will process a place of escape. That it said, my soul escaped from the snare of the fowler. <laughs> I've seen cases where somebody was somewhere and as he left, robbers came and killed Divine protection. And listen to me, and listen to me well. In this 21st century, in this evil time, you need that protection. The next thing we need is divine. The reason is divine provision. God is God to all. When everybody so see, they must reap, reap the fruit. Whether it's yam, whether it's beans, whether it's uh, no matter how wicked the person is, he will still see it because of the law of seed time and harvest. But if you are a child, the Bible says Isaac kept on digging wells and they kept on blocking the well with stone. And he was digging and yet the well was still getting water. And they kept on blocking. Because the water was not in the ground, it was in Isaac. The reason why there's hustle and there's no provision is because of one thing. Our sonship. Our friendship is not complete. It's God to you. But you must get to the level where it becomes father. He said, call upon me in every time, at every second, in every situation, and I will hear thy voice. There's an answer to the calling of a child. Anytime your child, if you are a good parent, anytime but your child cries, you hear, you know the voice. Even mothers that are suckling a baby, according to mythology, uh, Yoruba myth, they believe that when their breast is paining them, it means that what is happening at home. The baby is crying. They call it Amiara. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. They will start rushing back home. How much more God that owns the heavens and the earth, that the earth is his full stool, and he looks, his chariot is in the sun. How much more him, whenever you cry, he must hear you. Why? Because you are his son. The Lord will give you grace to understand this message. Because this is the season where this message is very important. Season of wickedness. The days are short. Satan is here. And is doing great things. Wickedly. Big wicked. Look at the internet, look at the news, no good news. That is the reason why we need Jesus. Not as God to us, but as Father. Someone say, God, I want you to be my Father. So, what I'm saying is this. In this season, we, you and I, we don't need God as God. We need God as Father. Protecting, guiding, 
and God in us. If not, we will keep moving from pillar to post looking for one prophet or one pastor or the other. If God becomes father, you don't need a pastor. You don't need a prophet. Only once in a while, maybe just to fellowship with God. You yourself, God will be revealing your life to you. Delivering you in your prayer. When you fast, you must hear. When you pray, you must hear. But when there's no relationship like that, you will be going from pillar to post. God is not a sugar daddy. When you have problems, you call. You might not talk for two weeks. For two, two years. And, no. and give you whatever. But no, God wants a relationship. I want you to begin to cultivate relationship with God with all these five things. And you begin to grow in Him. Mm -hmm.